This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. I'm continuing to build the car showroom scene here. As you can see, I've populated the showroom with three low-resolution famous sports cars. So I'm going to add some more now, so I'll actually zoom out a little on the auxiliary camera here. And then what I'm going to do is actually change to a top view. And this will make it just a little bit easier to see where the cars are being positioned. So there's the top view. I just need to zoom out so I can see what the building is doing. And then I'll change it to an outline view. You can see the three cars positioned here. So I'm going to add some more content now. So I'll just make sure I'm on my figures library here. And then I'll come down to my training folder just down the bottom here. And there's the showroom stock I want to use. Now there's the first car I want to add. I'll just make sure I can see the preview there. So I'll just double click on that. And that'll appear in the scene. And then I'll just use the translation tools here to find the body circle and just drag the car into its new position. I want it to stand outside the showroom, so I'll just leave that one there. And then the next car is the second higher air sports car. And there's the other one. And then I'll just drag that into position as well. Now, I need to add some figures further. So I'll just come up into the Poser Pro 2010 content entry here. And then I'll come down to Poser 8. And I want to use the Allison figure, so there's the Allison casual figure. I'll just double click on her. I'll just make sure her preview is visible and click on that. And there she is. Again, I'll drag her over slightly here. And I also want the Ryan figure, so I'll just add him as well. So there's a Ryan casual figure. Just make sure his preview is showing. And then I'll move him into position using the translation tools. Everything's in its approximate position now, so I'll just try and highlight the other car here and try and pick its body handle, and then I'll just drag it over slightly. And if I change the view then back to the auxiliary camera, everything's virtually in the right place. I just need to change to the textured view, there's the textured style rather, and I'll select the bodies of the cars. I want to rotate those slightly, so there's the body selected there. Then I'll use the Y rotate tool. Now I'll do the same for the red car. Body selected and a body rotated. Now I'll actually Z translate the cars together slightly and the yellow car. Again I'll select the body. Then I'll just bring that in slightly using the Z translation tools. Then I'll look at the two figures. Now I'll select the Allison figure here and I'll come into the pose category. Poser 8 content again, and I'll come down to the Poser 8 entry here. And there's the Allison figures options. I wanted to have a standing pose, so I'll click down on the standing poses here. And I think standing 03 might be suitable, or standing 02. No, standing 02 is fine, so I'll just make sure Allison's body is selected. And I'll double click on the pose preview here. And the same for Ryan, I'll just click on him and make sure his body selected. Then I'll come down to the Ryan poses, which are a little bit further down. And again, standing poses for Ryan. Um, I think standing 03 might be suitable. So I'll apply that to Ryan. And then I'll rotate and move those into position a little bit more as well. So I'll just zoom in on them here. And Ryan's body is selected. So again, I'll Z translate him over slightly, and then X translate him in. I'll try and stand him on that white line here. And then I'll rotate him just a little bit so that he appears to be looking at the cars. And then I'll have Allison come and join him. So I'll click on Allison's body. And again, using the translation tools, then I'll just bring her over more in line with Ryan. And a little bit of X translation then to bring her across. I'll make her stand a little more closer to Ryan, as if they're a couple shopping for a new car. So then I'll just rotate her body as well. And that's everything pretty much set up as I want, really. I'll zoom in slightly, and then I'll, again, just do a very rapid test render, just to make sure everything's operating correctly. This will take a little bit longer now, because there's more models in the scene. We just need to wait one or two moments for this render to happen. 
And there you are, just a very quick render. That's showing that everything's in the right position. The shadows are falling pretty much in the right place. And there's just a few more things to add now.